What's up, X and YouTube? Matt A here. Today, we're going to talk about Matir, Mother of Fingers. That's right. This is going to be an Elden Ring boss review. Before we get started, I need to get some names out of the way. Okay, let's see if I can get this right. Cathedral of Manus Matir is where you need to go. In the Cathedral of Manus Matir, you're going to see a knight, Jolan. I don't know if she's a knight or he, but it's Jolan. Then at the... The head of Manus Matir, you're going to find you're going to find Count Ymir. Okay, Count Ymir is going to be sitting basically in a throne room or in the church uh, of the Manus Matir. Okay, he's in the cathedral cathedral of Manus Matir. If you ask me about the lore, I have no idea. It'll be in the video. I'll ha I'll have his full dialogue is going to be in the video. But if you ask me about the lore, I'm going to have no idea what the dude said. It's all riddles, and, and you know how Elden Ring is, right? Now, to start this quest, you're going to start at the Church District High Road Grace, okay? And you're going to go around to the left. You're going to see the path to the left. It's going to take you to the Cathedral of Manus Matir. In the Cathedral, you're going to find, like I said, Jolan. You're going to find Count Ymir. What you want to do is talk to Count Ymir first. Exhaust all of his dialogue. He's going to give you a map and a trinket and blah, 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 okay? Well, we don't often receive visitors. I am Emir. Welcome to Manus Meta. It is a pleasure to have you. In lands so forsaken as these, chance encounters are precious indeed. Seeing that we have convened here on this day, allow me to mark the occasion with a modest offering. <laughs> The map I gave you charts the site of a hallowed ruin. It is said that after sounding the hanging bell there, one's fate will be guided by the stars. I only wish to be of service, to help those who fight for their purpose. I'm not mistaken, am I? I can see it in your eyes. You are a fighter, are you not? Is something the matter? I've given you a map to the hallowed ruin. Oh, I suppose you expect a lesson of me, do you? I know the feeling. Those with purpose are nothing if not ravenous. For power. For truth. Now, you can do this a couple of different ways, okay? You can go to either, either one of the ruins first. There are two ruins you have to go to. Finger ruins. There's the Finger Ruins of Dio and the Finger Ruins of Rhea. How I did it, I went to the Finger Ruins of Dio first, and then I went to the Finger Ruins of Rhea. But either way you go, it doesn't really matter, okay? To get to the Finger Ruins of Dio, you basically, if you watch my Commander Guys video, it kind of intersects with that. But basically, you need to have the Morth Ruins unlocked. You need to have Bonnie Village unlocked because you're going to need the O Mother em emote. The O Mother emote is in the north of north of Bonnie Village. Once you have the O Mother emote, you're going to make your way to the church high 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 church district high road. Then you're going to make your way to the you know the uh, Shadow Keep back gate. When you're around the Shadow Keep back gate, you're going to see the headless statue of Marika. You're going to do the O Mother emote. It's going to open up and it's going to lead you into the secret area. The secret area, if you go towards the back, is going to be the Finger Ruins of Dio. In that, you'll see the hand coming up out of the ground. You'll see, like, I, I guess it's a finger. Okay? You blow into it, and you get an amulet. And this is part of your Mir's quest after you talk to him. So l let's go over that again, okay? You start at the uh, Church District High Road. You go over. You get to the uh, Cathedral of Manus Matir. You talk to Count Ymir inside of the church, exhaust his dialogue, and you're going to go to one of the finger ruins, okay? One of the one, whatever one you choose. The one I just told you about is the finger ruins of Dio. That's going to be through the shadow, shadow keep, back gate, secret entrance with the old mother emote. The other one is the finger ruins of Rhea, and that's going to be down south through the coast, uh, Cerulean coast. So you'll need the Cerulean coast unlocked for that. So for that, it's pretty straightforward. You go down to the Cerulean Coast. 
you just kind of go around the coastline and make your way and you're just going to the finger ruins you blow into it boom you get the you get the amulet so now if you want to get if you want to get secret dialogue or extra dialogue here's what you do okay go talk to count yamir go to one of the finger ruins okay it doesn't matter which one go to one get the amulet go back to him oh there you are the exalted timbre of the bell has reached these ears of mine gracious the starry sky is wondrous tonight indeed only your fate shines brighter but fate can be a strange thing indeed the hanging bell you sounded was not the one on the map i gave you the bell you found was in fact here <laughs> Please take a second look at the original map, and may the gleaming stars guide you evermore. I fear that you have borne witness to the whole of it. The conceits, the hypocrisy of the world built upon the earth tree. The follies of men. Their bitter suffering. Is there no hope for redemption? The answer... Sadly, is clear. There never was any hope. They were each of them defective. Unhinged from the start. Marika herself. And the fingers that guided her. And this is what troubles me. No matter our efforts, if the roots are rotten, then we have little recourse. Ever young Mikola saw things for what they were. He knew that his bloodline was tainted, his roots mired in madness. A tragedy, if ever there was one. That he would feel compelled to renounce everything when the blame lay squarely with the mother. May the gleaming stars guide you evermore. What is that? A reward from Count Emir? Huh. If the Count has placed his trust in you, then so shall I. I am Yolan. The knight is yours now to wield. Don't get the wrong idea. We are neither friends nor confidants. I am merely honoring Count Emir's wishes. If you go back when he's gone from the throne, you can press the button, open, and his throne kind of moves back. You can go down like you're going to the boss. But you can't get to the boss yet because you only did one. So you go down, okay, and you're going to fight this uh, invader, okay? You fight the invader. I can't even remember the name. Okay, you fight the invader. You'll see it on screen. You fight the invader, and then that's it. You leave. After you leave, rest at the grace right in the church. Reload the church. And then you should be able to talk to Jolan. When you talk to Jolan, you'll have a dialogue and you'll be able to tell her that you ran and you def you ran into the uh, the invader and that you killed that person that you talked to. So that gives you an extra bit of dialogue. If you do the quest fully before before doing that, you she won't be there. You won't be able to talk to her. Do you once? I've no interest in companionship, but I must admit, Count Emir did seem very pleased. Perhaps an exception is in order. Emir is a shining star, in our eyes. The only star upon the black canvas of the night. Our meeting with the Count taught us of the star-draped sky. We know that we cannot reach out to touch it, but we can peer up at its brilliance and heed its guidance. We will never again lose our way in the night. I have spoken far too freely. Pay me no mind. Let us focus on our shared purpose. Our service to Count Emir. Now, be on your way.
stop. What did you just say? <sighs> Wait, no. Say nothing. I have one star alone, and only his words will do. So let's recap, okay? You start at the uh, church, the hot. You start at the church district high road, okay? You go talk to Count Ymir. You're going to go to one of the finger ruins. You get the amulet from one of the finger ruins. You go back to Count Ymir. Talk to him again. Rest at the grace. Reset it. Open up. Uh, press the button on his tomb, his, his uh, throne. The throne moves back. You go down. You fight the invader. You come back. Reload. Talk to Jolan. Then you reload again. Talk to Count Ymir again. Then he's going to give you another, uh, another quest. He's going to give you another map, another quest. And then you go to the other finger ruin, you get, you get the second one. You, get, you go blow in the thing and you get the second one. After you get both the finger ruins, okay? After you get finger ruin Dio and finger ruin Rhea, you get both those amulets. You go to both those ruins. Go talk to Count Ymir. He's going to give you a third map. You rest at the grace, reset. Count Ymir and Jolan are going to be gone, okay? You go and you press the button. Or if you already did the middle part of the quest to get the extra dialogue, like I said, the throne's going to go back and you're not, you know, you'll be able to go down and you're, if you didn't fight the invader, you'll fight an invader. And then you'll go get to the boss, which is Matir, Mother of Fingers. There's not too much to say about this boss. It, it's, it's pretty average. It's a 5 out of 10. Uh, I mean, there, there's just nothing special about it. The most annoying part about it is if you lose, you have to go blow into the finger thing or whatever to transport to the boss's realm. That's the only annoying thing. In other words, you can't just go respawn and just walk through the door. When you respawn, you have to go up to and blow on the finger or whatever. I, I still don't even know what it is. You blow on the thing and it transports you into the boss arena. The boss arena looks pretty cool, okay? The boss arena has, has a nice aesthetic to it. It, it kind of looks like you're underground and, you know, you see everything, the, the representation of the fingers, the mother of fingers. That all looks pretty cool. The boss design... Not that good. The boss attacks. Not that good. The way you fight the boss. Not that good. So the boss itself is, is, is beyond plainly average. It's beyond average. The boss is so average. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. Okay. The attacks are really bland. It It's, uh, it's recycled. It's, it's it's boring. You you'll know you'll see them coming from a mile away. It does this attack where you know it comes up and it goes up in the air and it does a little spin and you know it hits the ground. It does an attack where it beats the ground. It has you know one of those little one of those little laser beams that come out. It does a little laser thing. It has uh what do you call it? It has a pulse attack. You know the usual where it's like this ball and it pulses a couple of times and you have to roll through it at the right exact time. Blah, 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 blah. The boss is ugly. There it's a, uh, it's uninspiring. It's a plainly average, nothing really to say about this boss. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm making this video. Uh, I, I, I don't even know why this boss is just, it's a secret boss, but it's plainly average. It's easy to beat. I'm going to tell you what none of the other boss strategy guides have told you, okay? Don't lock on to this boss. In other words, don't, don't do a target lock on this boss. The target lock is going to keep you in the boss's cr crosshairs. Unlock on this. Do not lock on to this boss. Run up really close and run, be run behind it, okay? Don't, do not target lock this boss. Run really cr close, run behind it. It is weak to magic. It is weak to frost. It's easy to kill. It only took me two tries. And what I did, basically, I used Comet Azure. That destroyed it really quickly. And then I used my Mimic, and basically I just ran behind it and hit it with the uh, Dark uh, Dark Moon Greatsword. Okay, that's it. It's a su super, super, super easy boss. It shouldn't give you any trouble at all. Like I said, don't lock on to it. Don't have a ranged battle. Don't Don't range it, okay? Just unlock, walk up to it, run around behind it, and you could just tank all the other hits. Literally, you could tank all the other hits. I'm on next game plus 10. I'm on next game plus 10, so I have the max difficulty it could possibly be. 
I only have 10 on the, the whatever tree blessing thing. I only have 10. Just run behind it, tank its hits, and just chop it up. It's super weak to frost, super weak to magic. That, that's all you need to do. That's another reason why this boss is uh, such an average boss. You, this, this boss is easier than, uh, you know, a Mesmer Knight. I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, all that trouble to get to this boss just for it to be so plainly average. And the only reason I'm giving it a 5 out of 10 instead of a 1 out of 10 like Gaius, well, or 2 out of 10 like Gaius, is because it's not annoying. The fight itself isn't annoying. You can get to the boss, you can kill it pretty easy. Gaius is super annoying and also ridiculous to get to. This boss is ridiculous to get to, but not that annoying because you can beat it really easy. Really easy to beat. Now, keep in mind too, when you're talking to Count Ymir, buy up all his spells too, because once, once this is all over, to my knowledge, you don't ever see him again. So when you are going through the dialogue, and you're triggering the, tr triggering the dialogue, just buy up all the spells. Just buy all the spells while you can, because I don't think he reappears. All right, so hopefully that answers uh, the questions. That's how you get to, uh, you know, Matir, the Mother of Fingers. That's the boss fight. Plainly average, super average boss fight. Um, hopefully you can uh, see from the footage how to get there. That's the video. Matir, Mother of Fingers, plainly average, super average boss. Eh, eh, eh. I'll see you next time. Thanks.